Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. Um, all this month, I'm going to be coming to you daily and giving you Thanksgiving tips to keep your waistline trim. So if you're new to the podcast, welcome. My name is Nicole Simone and I'm your host of uh, the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. My goal with this podcast is to deliver you daily tactics and strategies that you can use to jumpstart your weight loss even when you're over 40. I promise you, you can lose weight when you're over 40. So make sure you hit subscribe on whatever platform you are listening or watching this on. And because from now until the end of the year, I am going to be giving you daily tips to navigate your way through the holidays. So today's Thanksgiving tip to keep your waistline trim is tip number four. So if you miss the first three tips, go back and listen to the other podcast episodes and you will get those tips. So tip number four is get creative. So when I started hosting Thanksgiving for my family, which has probably been a few years now, maybe five years, I added in different recipes that were healthy. So instead of like, I love traditional foods that usually come with Thanksgiving and it's not saying that I don't want to put them in at all, but I added some healthier recipes in and this kind of eliminates the faces that you may get or the comments that you may get when you just kind of adjust the recipe. So if someone doesn't know what the dish is quote unquote supposed to taste like, then you have an unbiased decision from that person. So for instance, if I were going to make scalloped potatoes and really tweak the recipe, and instead of using potatoes, I decided I'd use cauliflower or yams or something like that, it's gonna taste different to what they're used to tasting. So, but if I make something entirely different, like my delicious roasted vegetables, they are not going to have a preconceived notion about what it actually tastes like. So it's not that I'm saying get rid of the traditional foods and meals and dishes, but you could keep those and then add in some healthier options and versions um, just to kind of keep everything in check. So what new dishes can you add to your menu this Thanksgiving? If you want to know what I am serving up for Thanksgiving, head over to shapeitupfitness.com and grab your free copy of my Thanksgiving menu. So I hope this um, tip was helpful for you. Again, this podcast is just the starting point of your weight loss journey. When you are looking for individualized attention or a custom plan to lose the weight for the rest of your life, I want to invite you to schedule a consult with me absolutely free. And on the call, we're going to find out what's holding you back from losing the weight. And also, we're going to also discuss what step number one is for you for your custom blueprint weight loss plan. If you're ready to schedule a call, you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat, C-H-A-T. All right. I will be back tomorrow with another tip for Thanksgiving to help you jumpstart your weight loss and keep it off through the holidays. And when you're ready to work with me, head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow.